haven't seen a raise in my income since Proud Mary. And almost had to walk away from Color Purple. Yes, ma'am. Who said what? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because you know what? If I don't take a stand, how am I making it easy for Fantasia and Danielle and Hallie and, and, and Felicia? Then what if, why, why am I doing this? If it's all just for me, what the, why are you here? Look at Oprah, you see how she looks at Taraji and quickly looks away. And now look at Taraji, look at her legs, she locks it away from Oprah, looking up, fluttering her eye, trying to hold back tears. But she's trying to be professional, but she leans into Oprah, Oprah pulls away. Fake laugh. We all know that's fake. That's fine. So Taraji P. Henson is sick and tired of staying silent in Hollywood because she is now coming out to expose Oprah Winfrey for threatening to ruin her career. See, Taraji recently came out to reveal that she was grossly underpaid for her role in Oprah's movie The Color Purple. And this has caused fans to drag Oprah for filth and has caused some very bad publicity for Oprah. But Oprah is not handling this well as you can expect as she has allegedly been threatening to get Taraji blackballed in the industry. And Taraji is now calling out for help and exposing the deepest, darkest, shadiest parts of Hollywood and exposing Oprah for being cruel. Y'all come on in and have a seat because this mess is insane. I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. I'm tired of hearing my sisters say the same thing over and over. Um, you get tired. Y'all, it looks like everybody in Hollywood is suddenly speaking their truths and standing on it because in the past couple of weeks alone, we have heard and seen multiple celebrities come out to talk about the things that they've been seeing and going through in Hollywood at the hands of some very powerful people in the industry. It started with Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy and then Christian Keys and the anonymous powerful man that allegedly essayed him. And now it's Taraji P. Henson and Oprah. See, for the past couple of years now, there have been some serious allegations against Oprah and how Hollywood at least use her as a handler for other black celebs in Hollywood. There has been lots of talk about how the industry and higher ups use her to keep black celebs in line and under their control. And it looks like Taraji P. Henson is coming out to confirm these stories because she has just come out to slam Oprah for trying to kill her career after Taraji revealed in an interview that the industry is not what it seems because she still gets heavily lowballed in the industry and doesn't make that much money. Certainly not as much money as people think she does. In a new interview, Taraji revealed that she has been stuck in the same pay grade since 2018. She almost had to walk away from the Oprah produced movie The Color Purple because they lowballed her and didn't want to pay her what she was worth. I haven't seen a raise in my income since Proud Mary. And almost had to walk away from Color Purple. Yes, ma'am. Who said what? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Because you know what? If I don't take a stand, how am I making it easy for Fantasia and Danielle and Hallie and, and, and Felicia? Then what if, why, why am I doing this? If it's all just for me, what the, f why are you here? No, this is absolutely insane because can you even imagine what it's like to be stuck in the same pay grade for five years when everyone knows that you're one of the most talented people in the industry? It's actually sickening, but Taraji doubled down on her claims in an interview with Gail King where she claimed that she was seriously considering leaving the industry because she wasn't getting paid well when compared to other white actors in the industry. I'm just tired of working So hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of hearing my sisters say the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. um, you get tired. Mm -hmm. I hear people go, you work a lot. Yeah. Well, have to. The math ain't mathing. And y'all wanna know something? This isn't the first time that black actresses have spoken out about the discrimination they face in the industry. They have consistently complained about the things they face because they get paid way less than their white counterparts get paid, even when they are way more accomplished. Now, Viola Davis has also spoken about this, talking about how she only gets paid a fraction of what she deserves. Okay, what they're getting paid, which is half of what a man is getting paid, well, we get probably a tenth of what a Caucasian woman gets. And I'm number one on the call sheet. 
And then I have to go in and I have to hustle for my work. That's what I feel like I'm doing. Now that's crazy. The Viola Davis, snot in fences, then EGOT winner still has to go through this. And it kind of makes us wonder what the younger and less accomplished women have to deal with in the industry. And in Taraji's case, it's kind of sad that she was being lowballed by her fellow black woman, which is Oprah. Oprah knows firsthand how badly black women struggle in the industry. So why would she do it to another woman? And it's not like Oprah is broke or anything because she's literally a billionaire and can afford to pay Taraji what she deserves. Taraji didn't reveal how much she was paid for the color purple but she did mention that the amount was so low that she was tempted not to take it and y'all know what this isn't the first time that oprah has been accused of lowballing black actresses because she also did the same thing to monique after they worked on the movie precious now if you're wondering how exactly that drama started well it goes all the way back to 2009 when monique appeared in the movie precious the movie was produced by oprah and tyler perry and it was a huge success because of the success of the movie oprah and tyler decided to have Monique do press runs to promote the movie even more. Now, press runs are completely normal in the industry to promote movies that have a lot of buzz in the media. But what was not normal was the fact that the producers and the directors informed Monique that she would not be paid for these promotions. Well, Monique informed them that she was not interested in working for free and would rather spend the time alone with her family. Now, while they couldn't force her to work without pay, Monique later revealed that they allegedly got the media houses to start publishing stories about how she had a diva attitude and wasn't an easy person to work with. Now while Oprah didn't directly accuse Monique of being a diva and impossible to work with, she hinted strongly at it in an interview where she was asked why she didn't address the Monique situation. She said, it's impossible. It's a law that if you meet negative with negative, you will just have a combustive negative force of energy. You can't meet negative energy where it is. You have to rise above it. You have to transcend it. You have to be the light. It only takes a little bit of light to banish the darkness. It takes a lot of darkness to overcome the light. It takes just a little bit of light and we are warriors of the light. We would not stoop to try to meet somebody where they are negatively. Don't care who they are. So not only did Oprah blackball her, but she also forced other people in the industry to blackball her as well, threatening to ruin them if they didn't distance themselves from Monique. For example, Monique revealed that Steve Harvey had reached out to her in private and supported Now that is absolutely sad and it looks like something heavy went down between Taraji and Oprah after that interview because as fans noticed that there was some tension between the two women at this public event to promote the movie. Did you think you could escape now? Okay, awesome. I can't see a thing. Did y'all catch how Taraji looked like she was about to cry? Y'all, did you catch how Oprah moved away when Taraji tried to lean in and get closer for the picture? Yeah, that body language was giving weird and awkward, but what was weirder was when Oprah immediately moved away from Taraji the moment people came around for pictures. Yeah, there's definitely something going on between them, and according to the reports, it had to do with Oprah blowing off Taraji for making her look bad by complaining about her low pay in the movie, which got Oprah dragged for filth on social media. Well, the next thing we knew, Taraji went on Instagram to defend Oprah. She posted a picture of her and Oprah from the same event where Oprah was acting all weird towards her. She wrote, It is so important for black women and all women of color to support each other. It is also imperative to have women of color in decision-making positions across all industries. Miss Oprah has been nothing less than a steady and solid beacon of light to all the cats of the color purple. She continued, She has provided encouragement, guidance, and unwavering support to us all. She told me personally to reach out to her for anything I needed and I did. It took one call, one conversation, and one decision making black woman to make me feel heard. Thank you Miss Oprah for all that you do. Now I don't know Taraji personally but listen even I could tell that post didn't come from her heart and she was just basically forced to defend Oprah because she was looking super bad and she was getting dragged for working against black women. Now fans of course didn't buy Taraji's statement and they left some comments saying were you silent or silent? 
lens. She's scared of being blackballed by Oprah like Monique. All I see is what's not written. And I don't buy it, but I support you, Taraji. Now, when Taraji's post didn't work, Oprah decided to do some damage control of her own. And she wrote, I've long admired Taraji. She can make you laugh, cry, cheer, and feel everything in between. But I had no idea she could sing. Taraji, the actress, a force. Taraji, the singer, a complete revelation. What I love about her portrayal of Suge Avery is that she plays her like a woman who not only only sang the blues but had lived the blues. Only Taraji could do that. She shared that her late father once told her, you're going to be one of the greatest actresses alive but wait until the world hears you sing. Taraji, the stage is now yours and I already see the standing ovations for you. Now she made the smart decision to turn off comments under the post because she would have got ate up and it would have made things worse for her. But what made it super clear that the post was just damage control is the fact that she made sure to remind us that the movie was hitting theaters saying, I'm fiercely welcoming Taraji to the Purple Sisterhood and I cannot wait for you to meet her version of Suge. The color purple is in theater starting Christmas Day. But hold up because there's even more drama where that came from. An insider just confirmed that Taraji was put under pressure by Oprah and the rest of the production company to make that post to make Oprah look better. Even more, they allegedly drafted the post for her and even picked out the picture so all she had to do was hit send. Well, allegedly, Oprah threatened to blackball Taraji just like Monique and make sure that she she never got any serious acting jobs in Hollywood again. She held Taraji's entire career over her head and threatened to ruin her life if she didn't make her look good in public. Honestly, it says a lot about Oprah that people saw this coming and they left comments saying, Oprah is about to blackball Taraji because Taraji is no longer playing the game. Meaning they want black actors and actresses to shut up and continue to take the financial abuse. Definitely not watching Color Purple. I don't support anything Oprah has its hands in. It has shown itself as as a deceitful, selfish, evil, greedy demon. Much love to Taraji. And Oprah is mean. I stand with Taraji. Even Stevie Wonder can see what's going on. Taraji is just trying to protect her career. That's why she posted that Oprah supports her. Maybe Oprah is just annoyed at Taraji getting personal on the press tour. Y'all, this is a hella messy situation. But y'all let me know how you feel about Oprah allegedly trying to ruin Taraji's career. Drop your thoughts in comments below and then check out this next video.